Hey guys, it's Emma, and today I'm going to be doing my January haul and wrap up video. I know this is a late video since February is almost over, but hey, better late than ever, right? I'm going to go through as fast as I can with the haul portion of the video because there is a lot to talk about. The first book that I bought is The Program by Suzanne Young, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, Oblivion by Jennifer L. Armentrout, After by Anna Todd, After We Collided by Anna Todd, S by J.J. Abrams and Doug Doris, Slammed by Colleen Hoover, The Siren by Kiera Cass. Last but not least, I bought a six book series and I know you guys are all staring at it. It is, of course, the new editions of the Mortal Instruments series. I absolutely love these. I had to get them because of the spines. They're just beautiful, and this purchase was totally unnecessary, but totally necessary at the same time. So yeah, let's get into what I read. And the first book that I read is Soundless by Rochelle Mead. This was a part of the group challenge for the biannual bibliothon. This was a group book. I gave this book four stars. I really enjoyed it. I finished it like under 24 hours. It was addictive and I really, really liked it. Um, I did notice some issues when I actually sat down and thought about it though, but I thoroughly enjoyed this book and I gave it four stars. I wish it was a little bit longer in the end though, because it did seem a little bit rushed. The next book I read is Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. I gave this book five stars. It was amazing. I absolutely love this series. I need to read the third one ASAP because I just love these first two books so much. The next book that I read is The Program by Suzanne Young. I gave this book five stars. It was amazing. I love the way she wrote it. I love everything about this book. I talked about it in my top 10 favorite books. It was just so, so good and it was nothing like I've ever read before. It was dark, but it was also not dark at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense. But just the way she wrote it, it was beautiful. And if you haven't picked this book up, I would highly suggest it. Read the back of it. Figure out what it's all about. Um, if I did it, I would give you spoilers, so I'm not going to do that. But just go pick this book up. It will change your thoughts on things, and it is amazing. So definitely go pick it up. The next book that I read is Frigid by Jennifer L. Armentrout, writing as Jay Lynn. I gave this book three stars. It was probably one of my least favorite books of hers that I have read. But I wasn't disappointed with it. I still really enjoyed it. It was just not up to her normal standards, for me at least. And fun fact about this book, I was drinking water when I was reading it and I spilled the water. And so the first whole half of the book has really crinkly pages because I spilled water all over it and it got soaking wet. So children, do not drink or eat while reading because it ends badly very badly. The next book I read was Girl Online on Tour by Zoe Sugg. I gave this book five stars. I know there's been a lot of controversy about this book and especially Zoe having a ghostwriter possibly, but honestly I don't really care about that. I just look at the book as it is and I read it as it is and I really, really, really enjoyed it. And the last book that I read in the month of January is Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard. I tried to read it a long time ago and I couldn't get into it at all. But I was just like, okay, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to read it because I really kind of wanted to start watching the TV show for the books. But I was like, I have to read at least the first book first before I start the TV show. And I didn't really like it. Um, it was okay. I kind of enjoyed it. It was a very mixed feeling. I don't really know how to express my feelings on this book. I'm still thinking about watching the TV show because I've heard that it's better than the books. I hate to say it, but that's what I've heard. Um, so I'm still debating whether to start watching that or not. If you guys watch the show, comment down below and let me know if I should start it. But yeah, I gave this book two stars. So those are the books that I bought and the books that I read in the month of January. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye!